Hi everybody. So it's the next day. Today is uh, January 17th. Yesterday I was on on the 16th and I had said about my fever blister and I was going to go to the doctor today. Well I want you to take a look at this bad boy. It was all puffed like my lip was swollen and it was tingling like up in here and that and I'm like oh my god and that's pretty much why I called the doctor well in the meantime I just needed some relief look at them coming with their toys look at this actually one toy is my sock and I needed relief and I didn't want it to spread so I called the doctor and in the meantime I was looking online because I needed relief immediately and I said how to get typed how to get rid of a fever blister fast and on YouTube I saw these videos for apple cider vinegar let me tell you something I called last night already that all I have was a little scab um, and told them I didn't need my appointment today and uh, I've been gopping apple cider vinegar on there was a couple scabs left now there's no scab at all it's completely flat in fact my skin is getting pink you can see the pink of my skin and uh, in between I'm putting coconut oil and this on with my finger the Nivea because of course I'm not going to put it directly on my lip but um, I'm going to use my clean finger just so you know that I was touching my um. but before I put anything on I wanted you all to see this now normally I would prefer to hide when I had a fever blister. Again, it's been years since I had one. However, I'm living proof that apple cider vinegar works. And coconut oil I kept on last night when I went to bed to keep it moist. That's how you do it. Okay. So that's the fever blister, and I'm so happy because it's like I can't even feel it anymore. And yesterday it was so bad that it felt it was just throbbing on my lip. It was terrible. It was just terrible. I never, I can't, well, it's been at least, at least, I'm with Wynn 13 years, and I don't think I ever had a fever blister the whole time we were together. I might have had one little one that might have came to a scab immediately, but this is the worst I've had since my 20s I don't even know how it happened again I don't know if it was Molly bonking me when it was already trauma of the fever blister I don't know what happened but it was hellacious I won't wish it on my enemy okay so let me show you I got mail I want to show you this I hope I can I can't tell if Well, hopefully you could see him. Wait. I don't know how to tell. I don't know. That's my little Albert. And I can't turn my camera because it's the phone. So the first thing is uh, from Spinrite. I don't know where that's. Canada. That's what I thought. Yarn inspirations. Woo! -hoo! So if you remember in my one video, I said that when I did that haul, that I was missing two of my honey, and I said instead of giving me the money, money honey, that I would love to have more honey, but it was sold out. So, uh, oh, this is nice. So I had asked, could I then instead just get a mystery bag? And she said, well, that might be sold out too. But she looked and it was not. So this is what they sent me in place of... Odd lots of yarn, one pound assorted colors. This is what they sent me. Factory Millen Surplus Defabrication. I don't know if it's a, it looks like a, I don't know, but this is perfect for my bonnets. A nice white. Very nice. I think it could be a three. 
I definitely think, I don't want to open it, but I think it could be a three. So there's that. Yarn Inspirations is awesome. I love them. Michaels, I did buy a bunch from Michaels. I probably spent, I spent another 40 some today. I got $10 off if I bought online and picked up in store. Plus I bought more buy two, get one. Yeah. I'm taking advantage of the sales when they're available because that's when you get your yarn. Okay, so I have Red Heart Soft. I got three lilac. I can open it because I'm going to put it up anyway. I love this Red Heart Soft. This is the... Oh, I'm thinking of the With Love. I never use the soft. This colorway is lilac. It's a worsted four, and it has 256 yards. It's so pretty. This is for, like, um, rabbits, and I have some dragons I'm going to be doing. I have a lot coming. Like I said, a lot of plans on the way. And then this is probably the Cinnabar. Yep. Oh, this one's really pretty. I have more yarn coming Friday, the rest of my Michaels. And then I have... It's ready to pick up today, what I ordered today. But I don't know what the weather's going to be like. The storm is supposed to start at drive time. And that's any time now, really. Mm, I love this Cinnabar. And is it ever soft? I might have to order more of this to make a sweater. This is gorgeous. 256 yards again. Worst at four. Beautiful. I don't remember what I had in mind when I bought that Cinnabar, but I love it. It's gorgeous. That kind of red heart I like, and if y'all have noticed, red heart's yarn is getting softer. Somebody must have complained because they're up in their game. And I'll show you my sweater progress in a minute. This I got the other day, and I was waiting on the rest. Again, this was buy two, get one, sale at Michael's. This is a worst at four as well. Um, this is their Impeccable, which is some of my favorite yarn. 858 yards, and the colorway is coral. So pretty. I'm going to be making flamingos and ostriches. and Oh, my God, y'all, wait till you see what's coming. Yeah, I have plans out the zippy. Zippy zoopy. Okay, so then I have a box from Michaels. This is probably my Huga. I'm pretty sure I saw that's coming today. Yep, yeah, Michaels. I got six again, buy two, get one. I got six of the Vanna's Choice Taupe Bears, guys. Bears, bears, bears. Actually, not just bears, but shoot, I just ripped the label like a dippy. If you're not familiar with Vanna's, Cho Vanna's Choice, it is a four, and it is a d -d 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 yardage. Where are you? 170 yards, and this is the taupe. So I got six of them babies. Again, buy two, get one. And then I got three more of this carrot. I'm in love with it. This is the Red Heart Super Saver carrot. I love it. And no, I'm not making carrots. And then I got for my bears, the Huga. I got this again, was buy two, get one. So that's when you, you get it, when you can get it. This is the uh, Slate Blue. It's a bulky five, and it's 132 yards. 
so pretty. And then I also got the rust. I love this rust. I might do some pigs out of this rust. I don't know yet. Is it focused? Yeah, there's the rust. So that's my orders that came in thus far. Now, I just sewed the sleeve into one of the sleeves into the cardigan. Watch out, Molly. I haven't even tried it myself yet. I put my camera up and I hit that stupid Bixby thing. Oh, yeah, yoy. Okay, so I'm going to try this cardigan on. Like I said, I just sewed the one sleeve in. I have to crochet the other sleeve and sew it in. So truth time. Let's see what this is like. My mom has short arms too. Okay, so there's one undone sleeve. And there's one done sleeve. This is supposed to have a hood. And to me... It's just there. Once it's buttoned, it'll be fine. I don't know. Look, I followed the pattern exactly. It's almost like you, it has to have a hood or it doesn't lay right. I think I'm going to have to crochet a hood on this bad boy. And the sleeves ain't quite long enough, if you ask me. I think that has to do with the hood. Because I think this is supposed to come down like this. And then, like, see, this would be here. And then the hood is, I think I have to put a hood or some kind of a collar, and then it's right. But you don't know that till you try it on. And then, of course, I have to put the buttons. I do have the button holes. There's eight of them. So, yeah, there's the Cardi. Thank God this ain't due Sunday, and we're not doing Christmas because, Wow. Yeah, so I'm going to have to find a decent collar that I can add to that, or a um, hood is going to have to go on it. Maybe a mock hood, I don't know. My mom doesn't like hoods, like I said, but, I mean, ooh, other than that, like, that's why it's so strange here, and I mean, I can add some kind of a collar, but it's going to have to be a big collar. Do you know what I'm saying? And that sleeve did seem kind of short. I mean, I followed the pattern. I think I'm going to wind up taking this cuff off and adding another two of the this. Like, this makes up like, this is the contrast, this white, and then the triple crochets is the blue. And I think I'm going to take the cuff off and add two more, two more of this part right here. Two more white blue. Because I'd rather roll my sleeves up. Or maybe I'll just add one because that's going to give me another, yeah, I'll add one. Because that'll put me, like, right here. I'll add one on each side. I'll just have to, like I said, take the cuff off. Because I would rather, like, even roll my cuff and have it too long than short like that. Actually, I like the cuff rolled. The cuff rolled looks really pretty. So, yeah, that is that. I have to tweak it. That's all. Um, The pattern is... It was odd to me the way it was written, and I messaged the designer, and she answered me right away and helped me. Uh, so I wanted to say her customer service, as far as her pattern goes, is outstanding. She was right on it. She didn't hesitate to answer me. So she's really good about that. I appreciated it. And uh, I've been getting messages from some of the other crocheters. Um, I'm also at 396 subscribers. I think that's 12 since yesterday. That's awesome. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm just so immensely grateful for everybody. And uh, there was something I was saying to... Oh, baby.
Hold on. Let me see where I wrote it. Happiness is homemade. If I'm not mistaken, that's Karen. I hope I am right on that. Anyway, I said in my comment back that um, there would be an update video, and here it is on uh, my fever blister. Nothing on the heirloom critters yet, because, I, again, I've been working Molly. I've been working on my mom's cardigan, but um, I might put that to the side. And start on that to be quite honest with you because I'm kind of anxious to get back to it and get her finished so yeah <clears throat> and uh, I've been I've been thinking about this is off the yarn path but I've been yes I'm not gonna take it ow you bought my nose I've been thinking about doing some meal prep because I stink like just now I got a little hungry and of course what did I grab a protein bar it's hard when you've had gastric bypass to want to cook because you can only eat a little bit. So it's kind of pointless when it gets right down to it. Um, do you hear Albert? I'm petting him and he, hi, at me. Yeah, buddy. He flopped. This is the sign of a cat that is happy. See him belly up? When an animal goes belly up, if you don't know this, I'm going to tell you, that is them, you're going to slip, Albert, that is them saying they're safe and content in their environment. They don't feel threatened in any way because an animal's most vulnerable place is their belly. So when any animal ever goes belly up, know that they're safe in their surroundings and they, they feel very secure. So there's Albert, belly up while Molly's biting on him. So cute, I'm telling you. My little birdie bug. To people who don't love animals, why? How? I'll never understand. The joy that they bring is just... All I'm doing is petting Birdie's little hand and it's just making me so happy now he's clawing into my hand ow he's grabbing me albert john let go of mommy's hand you're hurting me my cats aren't declawed obviously you little devil he's going on the house up you little devil you little devil so yeah i uh don't ask me why I keep saying so. Yeah, I'm driving myself crazy. I think I'm going to stop the cardigan for a little bit and work on the heirloom stuff. At least finishing that rabbit. And then um, tomorrow maybe I'll do a little cleaning and some meal prep. I'm thinking about some... Um, I'm hungry for cauliflower and spinach. You know, like mashed cauliflower instead of mashed potatoes, because I wouldn't eat mashed potatoes. The only problem is there's not much protein in that. And I can't eat a lot because I would have to eat protein first, unless I, of course, put unflavored protein powder in it. Ugh, hold on, Molly wants out. Now behave. You don't need to jump on me. Stop it. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. I love to crochet, but I crochet all the time. I really, that's all I've been doing. So I'm thinking maybe I might want to do some meal prep because I haven't done that in a long, long time. And uh, I want to make some pudding jars up, which I take protein bars and I chop them up in my Ninja. And then I put them in the bottom of my jars. I have like these real little half pint jars I guess they are and I uh, make sugar-free pudding with Fairlife fat-free milk and then I make puddings with 
protein bars in. So that's something like instead of a protein bar, I would have some milk. I would have, you know, a variety. And yeah, I'd have some protein bar, but you figure one bar goes between four jars. And I put some on the top too. So you're not getting all protein bar like when you just eat a protein bar. And maybe I'll make some keto stuff like, um, I don't know, maybe I'll make some bagels, some mini bagels and bigger ones for him and make some egg salad up and then I can have some bagels and egg salad. Um, I can add protein pot powder to my bagels. Now Gracie wants out. Lord, give me strength. I'll be back. Sorry, guys. Go. Why weren't you with the rest of them? I don't know about the rest of the world, but I'm in South Central PA and we're to get a good dumping. Um... Or Southern PA, I don't know. I'm near the Maryland, West Virginia border. I'm done with geography. Even where I live. Um, but I might ship my husband for some eggs. I have everything I need to bake bagels and stuff. Um, I need more Fairlife milk because he's been hammering it. Which I'd rather have him drink that than other milk. Because it's less fat and it's higher protein <sighs> yeah I might do that and then do some cleaning and meal prep tomorrow and when I'm done sit down and get back to crochet I might just take a day off and just focus on the house and meal prep anybody got some good ideas for me to meal prep I was thinking like on um, my puddings Maybe some tuna salad, some egg salad, my bagels. Um, maybe some egg muffins. Uh, let's see. I'd love some Crackslaw. If you never had that, it's out of this world. You take whatever ground meat you want, and then you add in the prepackaged coleslaw mix or broccoli mix, whichever you prefer, and then you add your seasonings. Oh my God, is it good? So good. And it's filling, very filling. Even Chucky thinks it is, and he didn't have bypass surgery. But, like, I get a quarter to a half cup, and, uh, well, I don't get a half cup. I'm not even six months out yet. I get a quarter cup. So, out of a whole bag and, like, a maybe... Like, I bought Morningstar Farms Crumbles. I'll probably use those. They're not real meat. They're, um... It's not meat. I don't know what it is, to be honest with you. I didn't look at what it's made from. Um... I might make some... I don't know if I want to make keto cheesecake. I don't think I'm ready for that. I could hardly eat any four years out. I, I had a hard time. It was very filling. I'd probably only get a bite of that, and Chucky's not the biggest fan of it. So, it's 